Now, I don't know why Drowner hasn't been gotten rid of. I suppose in theory this could actually be the idea you want. If you trigger a Drowner at the right moment, it'll constantly tag Retaliation, which hits the whole map. Thanks for missing around with some more Vampire Survivors Beswick, episode 219. How overpowered can Bobby Ona get in the dairy plant? We will be pulling off what we can pull off. It's inverse, it's down below. But nope, not one of these. Or those. Not even that. Meh, armor and wings are both on the map. I get that Devon bloodline going. That, uh, oh, Prism last. You are not. For now. Isabella. Wow, bone. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign at all. No, this is sort of counterintuitive, but I don't have a track dwarf, so. You gotta circle that circle. But eventually, I'll just be going in one big group. Her innate ability is that her attack is not based off cooldown. It's based off her movement. That's why I'm still circling. Boy, it would be nice to get the other thing I want. Which I know I 100% removed. Or unlocked. Or unsealed. There we go. Life sign scan. Get that up ASAP. That's me. Jeez. Circle round. Don't get that XP. Not yet. Not yet. Freeze them. Keep them cold. Keep them cold. Look at how fast that fires out. N even with 90 cooldown, it's not going to go that fast. It's only going to get more ridiculous once I start getting more movement speed. Your normal scan, her stats are going to shoot up like a rocket. That's ghosts. Okay, the minis do not count for her cooldown, oddly enough. It does mean that cooldown does have some effect for her. Oh, I can't re-roll. They probably didn't think you'd want to re-roll for when your inventory is full, right? Six. We're gonna need to get paranormal scan up first. Even if it's less efficient directly. Should be enough. Eight. Ghost is evolved. Paranormal scan. Now her stats are gonna go off a crack. In short. Oh well, yeah, look at how fast that's going. Nothing's matching that. Nothing ever. Now I can just run into things endlessly. Yep, get his Kizabur up first. Want that Legionary going. So obviously putting this on a Bisphos car or something would be even better so you can get the immediate third Archon to get Boogaloo of Illusions going, but... Well, I already did that with Menya. So, no. It's not happening. And the faster I go... And the armor increase there will increase the damage Legionary gets. No way you can beat Toasty. No one can beat Toasty. That's not possible. There's Legionnaire going. Well, 26. Huh? What's going on with that? Legionary. Wait, what? Oh, wait, I can't evolve anymore. That's why. All right, time to go fight them dang evil Atlanteans. Oh, 
Look at how fast that goes up. And she's moving so fast that her duplicates can't actually do anything. Or her legionaries can't do much. But it was that one's... One of them was four. One of them was six. What? What happened there? Alright, you're over here. I'm moving so fast, it's actually hard to do things. Oh, it is nice. And it's just going to keep getting worse and worse for the enemy. Look at that huge amount of health. Huh, something froze. It's getting... Oh, duh, the robe. I don't know, level up. There we go. Yeah, inverse makes you so difficult to deal with. Obviously, we had boob illusion. It'd be going a lot smoother. But you gotta deal with what we gotta deal with. And since I rarely go to the Sun Atlantean here, let's go fix that up. Punch him in the schnoz. Well, the kill count's terrible, but man, the sheer raw power is incredible. Like, what are they going to do about this? I was basically face-checking the Atlantean. Oh, I guess I could evolve Jidor with. Super Candy Box 2 Turbo Edition. Really need to remember that name easier. I really regret not going to one with a ma on map arcana. If I, had, if I did have legionary. Well, I do have legionary. If I Google of illusions, this would be full screen already. Well, not full screen, but be big enough that it would be activating more often. Doing more damage. In theory, I could just circle... Circle it up till I get all that big gem going. It's not the worst idea. Look at how fast she's going. I got like three more. I'm up to what? I'm at five amount. Five amount. With no duplicator, no beginning, no anything. That's monster level. Alright, I should have just grabbed all the power ups and ran into the Sun Atlantean. Run during growth season, nothing else during nothing else. Uh, well, I mean, I guess I could have waited for a lock season for that, but meh. Circle, circle, circle. Be in a big circle. Keep going. Run out that joystick's durability. Let's see, 215. That's deathy. If I go fast enough, it's fine, right? I'll outrun all the gems this entire time. There we go, Boogaloo. Actually, I shouldn't have been getting any levels. I should have saved them all for Boogaloo. Oh, well. Oh, dang it. I just run into you. Now I'm going fast enough that I'm running through things now. Yeah, you can't even do damage to me. I got 12 armor. Dun, dun. 
Well, I mean, I have 12 armor, doesn't matter. That's not what's saving me, it's the 8100 health that's saving me. Uh, also, I think you're getting those unlocked. No, not really. And if even this much damage is having difficulty taking you down, jeez. Oopsie. Nope. No Super Candy Box 2 Turbo, even with 500% luck. 544. That was mathing right. Man, they go so fast, even she can't catch up to them. They overtake. Well, granted, I do have terrain, but still, they're faster. They could be so much more powerful, too. Yeah, <laughs> funny. That was a nice level up storm. And I'm almost up to night, negative 90 cooldown off of entirely the back of it. Entirely the back of Paranormal Scanner. Scan. You want to be right? Who wants to be right these days? It's all about being north. North of the border. Come on, Nelantin, you can do better than that. Can you? Are you still alive now? That's six revivals and eight duplications. That's eight amounts. It just says the duplicator icon because that's the one for amount. And yet my kill score is actually kind of low. Despite all this. I might not actually make 100k. Kind of funny like that. Wonder why that is. Because I'm bad. That's why. Well, strangely, despite taking less time, it's just probably the Google illusions causing it. Cutting my line so much slower than, say, with Toasty. Didn't get it from the start, and it got less done. Also, I'm at full health, so the damage is swinging wildly. Not like anything's going to be able to hurt me. Discard. Swing a swing a swing a. Ooh. Wait, I still trigger retaliation. Hey, do I have anything else? Uh I mean, I guess duration. I mean what else would even work here? Duration at least means they'll be going longer. Yeah. The anti synergy is real. This isn't even as fast as it goes with Toasty either, huh? I mean, Toasty was just the whole map. Oh my god. Oh hey, second Atlantean. Why are they stacked on top of each other so much? That's weird. Yeah, I still trigger the retaliation. Better it's stacked up so much. Wait, what is going on? This is odd. Well, this is weird. I have no idea what interaction was going on there. The retaliation isn't actually the legionary shot itself. It's the it's Kizabur sword. And Wait, what is going on?
Yeah, that's retaliation. Huh. I guess the level ups were just stacked that high. Kind of ridiculous, but hey. Oh, hmm. I wonder if the cooldown is actually so fast that it's despawning them faster than it should. Like, I mean, the projectile limit, it's not cycling as it should, because Toasty with just max cooldown was actually having far more effect than this. Well, also, yeah, no health. No oh, way, King Vox. Oh, this is weird. Okay, yeah, if I stop for a minute, it basically turns into toasty time. So it is literally stacked up so much that it's creating like an error. Huh. She's literally moving so fast, she can't actually launch her attacks correctly. That is fascinating to find out. Oh, hey. Yay. Jeodora. Wait. What? Damage. Terrible. I'm not getting any kills anymore. <laughs> I guess they just scaled so out of bounds with the curse. Oh wow, it's laggy. Oh, now we do. I guess because they have knockback resistance, don't they? Well, even the Atlantean toasted instantly, so... Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Billy starts attacking so fast she can't attack at all. Well, Mr. Reaper, if you can catch up with this. You can't. I'm actually faster than the Reaper. No, wait, he got frozen. Well, can I beat you? Uh, I mean, the health hasn't, but... Well, obviously, it's not gonna hit as much as Toasty does. Where are you even at? Oh man, he's not even touching me, he's just flying by. Oh, that's hilarious. Oh, billion on Legionary. As you'd expect. Wow, Jadora was up there for a minute and it completely broke Mirage Robe. Ha! <laughs> uh, okay, I have completely lost track of where I should be on the challenge stages, so I'm just going to restart with Bobby Owen on Green Acres since that will probably not work. Alright, Wicked Season from the start. That it really won't matter. Good. Starting this Kizabur. Oh, dang it. What was the other one? Oh, it was Paranormal Scan. That's what it was. Or Life Science Scanner into Paranormal Scan. Dun, dun, dun. Wings in. Huh. Circle, circling. Do it less. Oh, 
Do I want to get ghost? Many ghosts. Let me get all this delicious XP. Can I get early evolutions here? I don't think I do. Ghost up first. Oh, well, either way, I'm gonna hold up till I get luck season to do it. Wait, I'm in inverse, aren't I? Perhaps should have started with that. Oopsie. Oh well. You die and you learn. Da -da. There's my gem. Not as many levels as I was hoping for. Dang. Slow going today. Slow going today. Oops. Circle it a bit wrong. Kill, but don't get the chest. I mean, I guess I could get the chest now, but I don't want it just yet. I want to get that paranormal scan first. Dun, 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 dun. Red gym, red gym. I think it's fine now. Give up. All right, yeah, early evolution's nice. Oh, only one boss so far. Unless I missed the chest. No, I didn't. There you are. Second boss. Alright. Alright, it is Green Acres. It is Green Acres still. Vacuum. There he is. Now I'm paranormal scanning. Now it's time to fight some Atlanteans. Head on and break them on. Truly outstanding. here. That's just the smart thing to do. Ooh, back-to-back -back double cooldown reduction. Wow, that's so much cooldown reduction, it totally matters. Wow, this is far away. Even at the speed, it's far away. Come on, is that all you got, Atlantean? Well, if it's here, it's here. Oh. There we go, now I can rain them always. Nicely and safely. I think being on inverse 
Definitely uh, decreases the kill speed here. I well, should not have grabbed that. Did I go fast enough to avoid getting all these gems in me, though? Wait, I'm not killing. Get off me, roach. Annoying pest. Kill them all. That's why I play Starship 2 was extermination. Bad roach problems. Oh, I should have stopped for the XP. Uh-oh. Yeah, now it's crawling all over the bed. Oh, hey, I got two amounts. Look at that chicken dragging behind. It steadily speeds up, though. Am I even killing anything more? Barely, jeez. Well, that's what inverse green acres does for you. Pain. Oodles and oodles of pain. No, Boogaloo of Illusion, jeez. Why would I think anything about Boogaloo? Could have held out till I was in the luck season for that, but whatever. 49-42. Can't beat that. Can't beat that. Except for all the characters that can. There's every character because Divine Bloodline exists. Hmm. I wonder if it will be more feasible to do it as a solo... Uh, with just Mirage Robe. I mean, eventually it's big enough to take up the full screen. Why did I stop moving? I mean, obviously with Pentagram, but I don't want one Pentagram. Got too much of big asterisk next to it, like Crimson Shroud and Clock Lancet in the uh, Infinite Corridor. Legionary has much less of that problem. I suppose you could do the same thing for Paranormal Scanner. Yep. Boy, the kill count is not going up very high, huh? I haven't even killed the Moon Atlantean yet. Give me all that luck. Oh, hey, one of them finally went down, because there was a... Wait, what? Why, what? Did I get double Atlantean event? I must have. It doesn't make sense for the city Atlantean to die before the moon Atlantean. Like, ever. Well, I mean, unless you're going for him directly. Yeah, anyway, I got a speed that I'm just barely slower than them now. That's nice. I'm not gonna hit the 100k, though. So, this is in no danger of losing, like, at all. But paranormal scan does for you. I am thinking maybe you could chunk out a third weapon and just focus on the two. Would it be enough? With just Mirage Robe. I mean, base it's not so great, but it does fill up the whole screen.
Well, wait. Did it not get size increase from... Huh. It doesn't get a size increase for some reason. That's very odd. I don't know why. I mean, enough amount will eventually make it take up the full screen, but that's a serious issue. There's my first candy box. Skippy, skippy, scoo. Gotta get that other one. Lower it up. Seen four hundreds. That's where I saw a six digit hit in there somewhere. Legionary is hitting for a thousand ish. Oh, either way. Hey, good amount of levels there. Man, even with this ridiculous level of speed, still going slow in places. Need to be. There we go. Got that clover. Oh, ranging behind. Oh no, it's wicked season. 282 curse of power. In a stage where the mobs are very, very much more durable than usual. Can't get this chest wherever I may roam. I'm not getting any XP. Nothing's dying. Huh. Oh, I mean, it is wicked season. Alright, oh, Arcana chest. There we go. There's my candy box. Candy box. Jeodora. Theodore. Oh, that was bad. Yeah, they don't get the benefit of size increase, area increase. That's strange. Never really noticed because there was really no reason to notice it. Not a weapon I grabbed all that often. It's odd. Very odd. No grabbing that poor arcana chest, though. I mean, for sheer kills, yeah, there's definitely a lot better. But on the other hand, for sheer thrills, and you know, total invincibility, like seriously, nothing, nothing but death can stop it. Like short of toasty, what are you doing? I'm not hitting that incredible weird overflow situation with dairy plant though. Oh hey, drowner. I stop it actually. Well, let's see how far into your depths I can go, drowner. Pretty dang far it turns out. Your bubble effect is completely lost upon her.
Look at this go. Look at this nonsense. It's nothing but numbers and not not even really many deaths. I mean like one or two kills a second. It's because I'm I can't be heard enough to actually trigger the might increase from Divine Bloodline. Absolutely nuts. No vacuum, get away from me. Actually, I should just stay still until I take enough damage, huh? If I can take damage at this point. With 15,000 health. Seems unlikely. Oh, yeah, and since I'm in the Drowner, well, that means I keep friggin' retaliation, isn't it? Only I have less HP. Huh. I don't even know what's going on. Oh, I get the retaliation clones. Interesting. Now, I don't know why Drowner hasn't been gotten rid of. I suppose in theory this could actually be the idea you want. If you trigger a Drowner at the right moment, it'll constantly tag Retaliation, which hits the whole map. Granted, on the flip side, that killed nothing that entire time. Yeah, it did so much less damage just because I couldn't get the levels because nothing was dying. Huh. Alright, Bobby Ona to Space 54. That should be an interesting one. Because they're based on number of hits and she will be hitting quite a lot. Though, on the other hand, the enemy spawns are pathetic. I mean, at least it's something. Or even my passives. Remember? I totally forgot what they are. Yep, that's really good. Mini Ghost. This is my third passive. Not a tract orb. I can't believe I'm using candy box for getting a base weapon, but okay. Of course I'm using candy box to get a base weapon. That's all I can do. I should have said, I can't believe I'm getting candy box before the weapon that it was supposed to be. Ah, wings. Yes, that makes sense. That's quite a number of levels. Dance time. Da -da 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 Dance time. And here's the first of many bosses. Boy, they're getting in so hard I can't actually avoid much. Or a Logian. Oh, well, that was unfortunately timed. Am I getting the Mirage robe up first? That is not a good idea at all. I just saw the number being high and like, oh, I should get that up first. There's my first chest. I'll hold up for growth season for that. Even though I'm pretty sure there's no early evolution here. 
I do it anyway. And make sure to get armor. Up two before I grab it. Or not. Aha! Not an evolution chest. Not an evolution chest at all. Eventually I'll be fast enough that none of this matters. None of it matters. That's the story of life. Ha 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 ha. Uh oh, gross season coming up. Maybe I should hold off. Nah. Right, it's inverse. I could have grabbed Arcana. Could remember to take that off. Well, we'll see how well sheer attack speed gets through the end. Hey, it just got a little luck season that one. You know, I'm pretty sure I don't evolve till the 10 minute mark here. There that goes. Nope. Hmm, should I get the golden finger? Oh, very far off of it. Eh. It doesn't much matter. It never really did. The optimizer still holds true in my blood. Even though I'm not really that optimizing about it. Should I get Divine Blue Line? Probably a Blue at first, right? Anyway, well, I mean, Divine Blue Line does make me more durable. That's always helpful. Ooh, Super Candy Box 2. And an Evolution. Well, we'll be smarter to take one of the other ones. Yay, growth season. Will that finally be my evolution? Oh, you did a lot of damage. It would be indeed a paranormal scanning day. I don't need levels. I just need an evolution chest. I don't know whether that was the bounds of reality breaking or my speed going high enough. Which is weird because I don't have that much speed. I'll get that red gem. Hmm. Like some sort of weird hit point based thing. Hey, all shielding. Oh, I can only miss Divine Bloodline. Well, none of these are good. Hey, okay, guys, I could just go back to Merchant.
wonder what the pattern is for this. Alright, wait till growth season starts before I grab that. Gold finger. Yep, this is ending poorly. Like, wow. I do nothing. That's the worst finger of all time. Pity. Pity celestial dusting. Speaking of pity, yeah, I have nowhere to go with that. I have nowhere to go with anything. Why did I get that gem? Well, what? Wait, this is what I wanted to do last time. I'm just gonna get it going. Is there a chest yet? No. Why is there no chest? I wanna see if I can actually get them to hit me. Do some damage. Uh, no. Looks like Kizabur's retaliation is too good. That's just this kid's a It's not even legionary yet. Wait. Did the Jadori count for retaliation purposes? It looks like they do. I certainly wasn't getting hit there. Huh. Oh, hey, a tier G suit. No, no, maybe... Maybe I just stacked up enough. Yeah, no, it's not firing off. I guess I just stacked up enough retaliation hits. That the overflow had gone off. I didn't take damage there for a while. And it feels like something's weird regardless. Oh wow, I'm taking damage. Let's fix that real quick. Also, seriously, where are the dang treasure chests on this map? There we go, finally. And a greed mask, too. Stone Ocean. Wait, Stone Ocean? Stone Mask? It was vampires the whole time. They just distracted you that it wasn't. Alright, I should be moving more because I got paranormal scan. I need stats. Stats hold. Hold right and go. Yeah, they don't take direct damage there on like a hit counter thing. It means actually I should just be circling like this and do more. End of map. That's nice. That was a pretty low scoring run. You know it's a bad when Jodore does well. Alrighty, alrighty, alrighty. No trouble for Bobbiona. She takes down Dairy Plant, takes down the Green Acres, and takes down the Space 54 for 409 on the Beswick. Back up to the double digits of the 400s. Yay. Leaves a total of 1,523 more to go. And almost to the fourth wave. 
Getting closer, getting closer every day. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please support the channel if you haven't with a like, dislike, comment, or subscribe. And if you already have, I deeply thank you. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick.